Hey everybody! After I uploaded my first video about posing for photography, which most of you really seem to like by the way, I got a bunch of more questions on the topic, so I decided to make a second tutorial about modeling, this time focused on portrait pictures. In this shoot we were taking beauty makeup portfolio pictures for my makeup artist Marte Neus. Which was why she decided to only shoot our model with her hair in a ponytail and later in this video in an updo. Now if you are currently working on your portfolio, I recommend to have your portrait pictures taken both with your hair down and in an updo if it's long. The ones with your hair in an updo are to show off your face. You really need those in your portfolio if you want clients or photographers to consider you as a beauty model. It's okay to shoot some of your portfolio pictures in black and white, especially if you're an aspiring actress. If you're aiming for fashion or beauty modeling, make sure most of your shots are in color though. Alright, from left to right, the shots you need in your portfolio. The famous pout portrait. Every beauty model should have at least one good pout in their portfolio. In the middle, a straight picture, preferably also one of those friendly eyes with a tiny smile shots. If you are aiming for commercial modeling, you should also get a full smile picture that shows off your teeth. Since we were focusing on beauty photography in this shoot, we didn't get one of those. And on the right, the cold stare, somewhat between arrogant and strict. About the pout pictures, a duck face is not what we're going for. Most first-time models pucker up when I ask them for sensual lips. A big no on the puckering. A pout should look natural, even though in photography it often isn't. When you lift your head a little while posing, naturally the skin between your lips and chin should pull. This is when you just open your mouth a bit and let the pout magic happen. Don't force it though. If it feels stupid, it probably looks stupid as well. Now for the straight pictures. Emotion doesn't only happen in your face. In portrait photography, your neck and shoulders claim half of the feelings in a shot. Picture 1 looks rather emotional due to the round shoulders and sclera that's visible beneath the irises. Picture 2 looks a bit off because the shoulders don't look emotional but just awkward. Picture 3 is a model in control of her body with a tall neck, something we often prefer in beauty portraits. So for which pose should you go? I recommend 3 for beauty modeling and if you would like to work in art photography as well, you could also put an emotional shoulder picture in your portfolio, like picture 1. Side shots are a must in your portfolio. When you keep your shoulders straight though, your neck can look a bit weird. Stick out your chin and tilt it a bit towards the camera so you will get a pronounced jawline. You can also move your shoulders. Follow the direction of your eyes with your chest a bit. This way the back of your neck will also look more flattering. Your portfolio should contain beauty portraits where you wear very little makeup, but you should also have some more extreme makeup shots as well. They should focus on your strength. If you have big lips, go for heavy lip makeup. If your eyes are your best feature, focus on eye makeup, like we did with our lovely model. Preferably use a white or grey background in your modeling pictures. Sometimes it's cool to use a black background as well. Here for example, in the left picture our model looks more feminine, but in the right picture she looks almost androgynous due to the dark background. Androgynous looking models are very popular these days, so if a background change can help show how versatile you can look, go for it. Also, show different sides of yourself and don't always make eye contact with the camera. If the photographer is shooting from a lower point of view, keep in mind that with side shots you should tilt your head or lean a bit towards the camera so your neck will look good, like in the shot on the right. In general, a slender and long neck we prefer in beauty photography, because it makes you look confident. But there's beauty and fragility as well, like there is in the right picture. Fragility caused by the shoulders and wrinkles in the neck. There's nothing wrong with showing different sides of yourself. Just make sure any themes or emotions you work with fit you. 
I mean, some people look ridiculous when they try to look melancholic. So again, find out what your strength is. And besides that, ask yourself if you really need certain emotions in your portfolio. For example, if you are mainly interested in commercial modeling, that's more about looking happy. So you might not want to add too many emotional pictures to your portfolio then. And now you might wonder, what's my favorite shot of the day? Well, this picture. Yeah, the shoulders are totally on purpose. I was inspired by old Greek statues. I'm more into weird and surrealistic images, especially when I can combine them with beauty photography. It's definitely okay to put one weird shot in your portfolio, so people will remember you.